<laughs> okay. Wow. The, the MSNBC has come out with a list of four things that they think, you know. Uh, they know. They Glenn. know. They know are preposterous. They know are preposterous. Thank goodness for They're MSNBC. Saying, we just got to get rid of some of these conspiracy theories going around this Benghazi thing. Well, wait till you hear them. And they say some of them are preposterous, but the rest of them are just downright silly. Yeah, MSNBC, they're calling it the wildest conspiracy theories about this whole Petraeus thing. And <laughs> I can't are. wait to hear <laughs> these so wacky silly. Star Trek theories of theirs. And we must warn you, before a, we get into this, yeah. and you might be driving, mm-hmm. many of them are downright silly, No, according to MSNBC. Really? Okay. Now, there's four of them, mm-hmm. so apparently four is many. Many. Or at least less than four, because many of the four, they didn't say all of the four. So Mm -hmm. many of these, though, are downright Mm -hmm. silly. So you might start laughing as you're driving and crashing to the side of the guardrail. Be careful. You might want to pull over right now (laughs) for safety's sake. Don't be be driving a Nerf car. (laughs) (laughs) The idea of a Nerf car is even... Is even That's not as silly, silly as some of these, mm-hmm. yeah. I'll bet. All right. Number one, wah, wah. he's trying to get out of testifying about Benghazi. Conservative talk radio host Laura Ingram suggested Petraeus' reg- resignation is to get out of testifying about Benghazi. What? She says what? Petraeus is set to testify next week. Did Obama push him out? <laughs> that's, what? You know oh, what that man. is? That's, that's downright silly. silly. Oh, no. well, you know no the next way. thing Push you're gonna say out. is that when Hillary Clinton is over in Australia, where she's just drinking wine with friends and stuff, and having a little meeting, and, and but she's just hanging out in Australia. That's to avoid this whole mess too. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Now, obviously, that's completely right. ridiculous. There's no reporting to the uh, alternative mm-hmm. there, and uh, he was he was told by James Clapper. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the on the record version that he needed mm-hmm. to leave uh, immediately uh, on mm-hmm. the day of the election. No, no, uh, hang on just a second. He was told on the day of the election, but I'm just I'm just reading a report here. It must have been while, after five o'clock. While investigating though, right? complaints that a woman in Tampa at Broadwell had sent threatening emails last summer, the last summer the FBI mm-hmm. discovered his spl- explicit email exchanges between Petraeus and Broadwell that exposed their affair. That a that's not true. Um, they we now know <laughs> that they knew that about the affair. While he was having it, while he was in Afghanistan, before he became the CIA director, we now know that that is that is true. And if it isn't true, it's at least reported. Yes. Yeah. If it isn't true, you'd have to ask yourself. Anybody who actually cares about security, you'd have to ask yourself: How did the United States of America not know through through investigation while we're vetting? Our new CIA director, how did we not know he wasn't having He was currently having it. You know how? What happens in Afghanistan stays, stays in, in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. It is the, That's how we didn't know. It is know. when the burqa, when mm-hmm. the burqas are whipped out, it is the yes. Vegas of the Middle East. <laughs> yes, it really is. <laughs> the investigation also raised questions about Broadwell may have uh, possessed classified material, and the search Monday night was related to that. So he goes in, Clapper goes in. And he says, one of the closest advisors who served him during his last command in Iraq said Monday, Petraeus planned to stay in the job even after he acknowledged the affair to the FBI, hoping that the uh, the episode would never become um, uh, public. However, Clapper came in and met with him on Tuesday. Now, did, did James Clapper, here's two questions. Did James Clapper just get this information on Tuesday or Monday? Mm-hmm. And say, my gosh, I've got to fire him right away. And then James Clapper make the decision to go and fire on election day, go and fire Petraeus. Well, he had that power. Of course he did. Of course, James Clapper, just <laughs> he's the head of the all intelligence. Na- national security. He's agency. national security uh, head. And so he had he's he's uh, Petraeus's boss. He went right in and and he fired him without Didn't even the knowledge consult of the president with the president no. at all. Didn't consult. No. President Didn't had no consult knowledge. that that no. General Petraeus. Mm-hmm. W- there was a scandal brewing, mm-hmm. and General Petraeus, when you fire him, this is going mm-hmm. to come out, right? And it's related to the Benghazi thing, sure, which would have been a political mm-hmm. nightmare for him. Mm-hmm. No, you didn't even call him. Nah, no, no need. Really, no need. That's the kind of power James Clapper has. Huh. Yeah. Wow. 
See, I, I mean, I'm a pretty, wouldn't you say that I pretty much leave people alone? I hire good people and let them do their job. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. There are many things that are on this network that I don't necessarily agree with, or I was like, okay, well, you know, whatever you believe in that. I'm not really so sure, but everything, would you say that pretty much everything that goes on the air, not the content per se, but the shows and the people involved go through my hand? Yeah. I mean, you, you're aware of what's going on in your own right. network. Yes. Correct. Would you agree that the guy who runs the division for television, Joel Chiwood, has the right to fire or change any show at any time? Yeah, I mean, that would be Do a- you think Joel Cheatwood is so stupid that he would change a show or fire someone without alerting me and saying, hey, Glenn, what do you think about this? I think there's this problem, and I think we should move in this direction. Yeah, if Joel thought, hey, you know what would be great uh, right after Glenn's show at 5, instead of the real news, hardcore porn. We're just going to put that on, a little hardcore porn at or 6 even, Eastern. They didn't even have to do that. Just I'm going to replace the real news with another show. In Spanish. Do you think that <laughs> no, Glenn... Because this go. is not a little tweak. This is not, you know what, this person's not working out, we're going to replace him with this person. This is General freaking Petraeus. Yeah. He's the most Pretty well-known and respected general that we've had at least no, since you know Colin it, Powell, right? You know what I mean, it is? I, on my network, it is like replacing me. It is. Yeah. Glenn, we've, we've, uh, yeah. We've, we've, we've decided to let you go on your own show. You still run the network, but we're going to let you go. Right. What? Of course, you'd you'd never you'd have never the do that. Knowing about and it. why is it the American people cannot see that no one would ever do that? And if they do do that around this president, remember, there is a legal responsibility for Leon Panetta to tell the president immediately notify mm-hmm. the president there's an embassy under attack and the ambassador is under attack. That is the president and the president's job only. To make the decision on what to do. That's an act of war. The president, by law, must be mo- notified by the Secretary of State or the Secretary of Defense immediately. Immediately. That's law. The president wasn't notified. Well, okay, that's a problem. Then that means that nobody under him has any respect for him. They're just doing what they do. Same thing with Clapper. We didn't need to tell the president about Petraeus until he was busy. He was busy? Yeah. It's absolutely pro- Preposterous, preposterous, to, preposterous. Even, to even believe that that's possible. Right. It, it, it did not happen. And going back Unless, to... Unless, and it, you know what? This guy is, he is a talking head. No. He's not no, doing... No, it. no, no way. It did not no, happen. No, Let's give him it. the benefit of the doubt. There's no benefit of the doubt. Here, Nobody tells him anything. Of course he knew about this. I mean, it's such okay. an idiotic But those assertion. are your two choices. Right. Yeah. There is no in-between. He is not the president of the United States. If no one is telling him... Until they make the decisions, if he's really this uninformed, then he's not the president of the United States, which has to, you have to ask the question, who is the president of the United States? Who's running the show? And if he did know, then he's lying to you and covering for something else because he's telling you he didn't know. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. one? Yeah, And it's blatantly obvious which one yep. it is. Uh, you yep. know, And going back to the initial one. Here, he is trying to get out of testifying for Benghazi. That was the initial uh, crazy conspiracy theory from Which MSNBC. Is crazy. <laughs> crazy. I'd laugh so hard Nutty. on that. One. This affair has been going on for what, 80, 90 weeks? It, it started in supposedly in early 2011. So, you know, I mean, pretty yeah. much and the most part. And he became CIA director in, in September of 2011. Right. So September 6th. So it was going on while they were investigating him. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes way back. For sure. But now, when you're talking about as this relates to Benghazi and you have the election going on, there is literally a one week period in which this can occur and not go, not affect the election and not, and get him to not testify with Benghazi. One week. There's one, one week period. Shockingly, he was fired during that week. When the election Amazing had already happened, all fired. votes had been cast, he and was, before he could testify. He was also fired on the only day that any any stupid people would say, well, the president was busy. It was election day. Yeah. And when all the press was busy on something else. Yeah. So it lessened it, and and then you didn't hear about it until what day? Oh, the day every news is dumped and dumped. Oh, it was dumped on a Friday. It was dumped mm. on a Friday. Isn't that interesting? What a coincidence. I mean, it is unbelievable. You would never write this in Hollywood and expect anyone to believe it. Right. I mean, you know, you could say it's silly. We don't have it 100 percent confirmed. It was about Benghazi. You could say that you could say maybe it was more election focused. Maybe they didn't want a distraction before the election. So they held it. You can you could argue that. But you cannot argue that it just mysteriously happened on Election Day. Come on. What the hell are the odds of that? 
But tell us a second. The second one's even more crazy, so though. Wacky. I got to give you this crazy one. <laughs> You're not even going to believe it when I say it. Right. You're going to think I'm making this up. All right. Somebody actually actually believes uh, that Obama knew about the affair before the election. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh. That would assume oh. that he wasn't just watching TV like the rest of us and had <laughs> extra information. You, you know what he would assume? No, no, no. He would be fair. He would assume that he's not completely incompetent or surrounded by people who are just doing stuff without his knowledge. <laughs> no, think about think about how crazy you have to be to believe this. Oh. Their official story is he found out at 5 p.m. on election day, uh-huh. he would have needed to know about 12 hours earlier. <laughs> That's like oh eight my. days ago. <laughs> no, way. no way. He could have known no eight way. full days no way. ago. No way anybody. No way. no way anybody in the Pentagon, no way anybody in the state department no way in anybody in the cia no way anybody in the department of justice would ever think we should tell the president oh uh, no <laughs> way. they're doing all the investigation there's no way no now eric holder knew in july but still he was not going to remember to tell the wow. president about it's general no Petraeus it's down. only an investigation <laughs> on the director of the cia plus oh, his man. office is clear down the hall from the president <laughs> you, 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 you can't expect him to walk all the way down can i tell you something can I, can I tell you something? <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's, it's not like it's not, the president can't micromanage everything. No. It's the director of the CIA. <laughs> it's not like it's somebody important or not. Somebody no, right. Right. Sure, it's right. been right. Am I right? Right. 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 Now, right. sure, the, it's been reported that the counterterrorism uh, uh, advisor, John Brennan, knew about this during the vetting in the summer of 2011. But there's no <laughs> way that would have got to the president. Oh, come, on. come on. It only had a year. No. Bother him with it. They have magical electronic mail that goes places. Oh, man. He's busy. Oh, man. He reads 12 emails a night from constituents. Oh, Did you know that? He reads 10. ten. He only has yeah. time ten. for 10. Well, he only, only has ten. time for 10. Yeah. He only has time ten. for 10. How can he be yeah. expected to talk you to can't. all these people you who are can't. doing investigations? You can't do it. That's, That's silly. Oh, silly. It's downright silly. Here's